Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn quick steps for creating match rules in MDM Hub. So we'll be learning how to create match rules using three simple, easy steps. So let's start. The underlying concept about the match configuration and the processing will still remain the same, but this tutorial going to capture the shortest or the how to create or how to memorize this natural creation process. So it involves three main steps and that is what we are going to learn. In general, as I said, the underlying process for, for loading data in MDM, generating tokens and matching those record based on those tokens will remain same intact. It will not going to change. So what this process involve? So if you say once you loaded the data, so right? So we have to do the data auditing. So we have to analyze the data, what data actually it contains. Then of course we need to define the match case. So which column will be going to contribute for the matching, right? So for example, the party name is one of the major contributor. Also we can have the other columns such as address. So address is also important column. So we have to define the, these columns first before configuring we have to define this once we define the, all the set of the columns the next step is configuring or we have to set up this match rules based on the match columns then we have to run the uh, the first dry run of the match rules how it is going to execute how many match rules uh, how many matches it generates whether it's over matching or under matching that will be the result of the very first dry run once we do the first dry run and the next step is we have to tune that match rules. So which rule like which column need to be exact match, which column need to be a fuzzy match, which column need to be has a null matches null, which columns has a not null matches null, etc. So those configuration will play into or will we need to consider for the match tuning. Once the match tuning is done, we have to review that. Again do the data analysis redefine the match column redefine the match rules again run our match process so this process of the execution will remain the same but the how quickly we can configure we are going to see so we are going to discuss only how to set up match rules so out of this whole process how to set up this match rule process in three of these steps we are going to see now as i said the whole underlying process is same so here is a quick overview about the data audit. We get the data in the base object table. Then user, the data steward or business user will review that data. And after doing the investigation, they, the business user will provide the inputs what columns need to be considered for matching. So during investigation stage, they will group the, the uh, information, what do they get from the data they uh, the business user or the data steward will do the quality analysis they will define the data standards so which data need to be uh, standardized for example in your data set you might have the few addresses with country code populated and some addresses with no country code populated so if you do not have the country code which is one of the important column for matching so we need to define some standardization either you can define some default value for those country or you have to define some arbitrary value so that it will co it will give the more appropriate result and then of course we have to choose the population the population is also important the reason is if if you are belongs to different country or different region the name has it's a different meaning for example in america mike and michael they are treated the same name or robert and bob also treated as the same name but this these say names may not be have the same meaning in the different countries so the population also important so so all this investigation will lead to the what population we need to choose for this data so the population is very important criteria that will become with the doing the data analysis if you have the if you have only one country population we have to define that country as a population like us if you have if your your data set involves multiple countries for example united states UK, China, Japan, India, etc. That means it involves the international countries. 
so we have to define the population as a internationalization international so let's start and see what are these steps so very first step so as i said it involves three major steps and the very first step is we have to define the match key match key is a very controlling factor in the match process so if the, your match key is robust then your matches will be robust so we have to define the match key if you have the person data select the key type as a person if you have the organization data select the key type as organization so if it is a person it will treat differently if it is organization it will treat differently so make sure you are using the correct key type of course you can choose the key width and also the match path match component is for choosing the, the your child uh, column for example if you have the party and the child such as address phone electronic address etc the path component is going to play a role here so you have to select the top root path here or root component here and in this case a bo client then use the person name as a uh, we are choosing as a key uh, uh, key type so the person name will come as a fill name and it will have the match key so you can choose what are the column you can choose the full name you can choose the first name last name etc combination of that and that will become your fuzzy match key then you can define the the fuzzy column and the exact column etc so this is the very first step you have to define the match key. we have to identify data which can be used as a match key then choose the match type that is the key type and the, uh, then we have to execute the tokenization process so the, the tokenization process take uh, actually uses what are the columns you are defining in this section so if you have the multiple columns selected here that the tokens will number of tokens generated will depend on this so make sure you are using the optimum number of columns and the required number of columns only not just blindly choose or configure any uh, match column which you are not going to use so that is just one recommendation that is very first step next step is define the basic match rules so the match rules um, those are the based on that the keys uh, the tokenization process will generate the token but we have to match those tokens and that will be based on the what match rules you define so we have to create tightest match rules first then the define the search level and use the conservative match level for a better performance or based on your requirement you can choose that conservative or you can use any other also so for defining the match rules, of course we need to define the name we can we need to give the name for the match rule then give out the search level it's a typical or any other you want to look that, you want to have that then we have to if you are going to use those match rules for outside mdm for safe call then you have to enable a search by rule you have to enable that option here uh, when you click the add icon the the green uh, plus sign on the right hand side you can see if you click, click that it will take us to a screen where you have to choose the what are the columns which are going to contribute for the match rules so here we are sele selecting the match or search search strategy as a fuzzy match purpose as a person name match level if you see here it is a typical you can choose the different also, different match level also so may, notice here you have to choose the search level at the root level root screen for uh, filtering at the root level and the match level for the match rule level to filtering record at the match rule level or the matching record at the root, uh, match rule level then you can choose the, what are the column contributor for this match rule here I have chosen the person name you can have the other columns for selection also if you select the if you define the different match rules so first uh, step is define the match key and exact and fuzzy match, uh, match columns step 2 is create match rule and the third step or the this is the part of uh, the second step is defining match rule it has the second part so when you create any match rule you have to define the match properties such as you can define match subtype you can define the not equal matching you can define the property for null matching or segment matching so these are the additional information uh, this but this will come under the step 2 so so far we discussed two steps first is defining match key and second is creating match rule and the third step is we have to review the match setting and the result so after configuring the match key and the match rule we have to execute our match job and we have to review the matches so where can we get that information so we 
In order to get that information, we have to go to the match table. If you have the party table, corresponding to party table, there will be a match table, which normally has the uh, uh, the name underscore mtch. So the data will be present after the match job. I would recommend do not execute the merge job. Even still, you can use a HMRG table to re to do the analysis, but it is a good idea to use the MTCH so that you can tune the match rule and regenerate. Because once you run the merge job, it will be more tedious process to unmerge those record and do the merging again. So it will be good idea to do the, the thorough analysis of the data and you can do once you execute the match job. Then we have to determine the exact column which can be used in conjunction with the fuzzy match columns for better performance and optimum results. Then we have to determine the sequence of match rules in the match rule set. So it, it also impact the match uh, result. So these are the three simple steps. First, define the match key. Second, define the match rule or create match rule. And third, execute and review the match data. So those are the three either simple ways or simple steps to create the match rules. I hope this is very helpful and I'm sure you're going to use these steps for creating match rules in your project. I hope you are enjoying these tutorials. If you have any questions or queries, you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video. Thank you for watching my video and do not forget to look at my blog which is not only on Informatica MDM but on other technologies such as Hadoop, Java, microservices, etc. Thank you again and have a nice time.